hot and sticky scene, if you know what I mean. Oh, I almost sound like Ian Astbury. See, I used to call him Ian Ashbury, and then everyone reprimanded me good and hard, paddled my, my hiney. And now I know it's Astbury. I love him. He's a tambourine playing maniac. We are here with the Colt. They are back out on the road. Um, Ian uh, did an interview where he said that the pandemic uh, allowed uh, Billy Duffy and him to get really settle down and write some jams. And so they're going to be doing that. But that's not why we're here. We're here because this man, this man that sings so well, this man that plays the tambourine so well and fronts this band, the Colt, so, so well, he's going to jump down in the audience and he's going to tell this guy, no, you do not do that here. Look at this big guy. He's going. He looks like uh, that guy that... Um, that uh, Ferris Bueller hung out with. It was always being a little whiny baby. It was sick and stuff. But I wanted to watch this. This is just the clip of the moment. It's a close-up of where he jumps down. Can we watch a little bit of the song they're performing, Rain? And then, dare I... If I'm feeling froggy, I might launch into She Sells Sanctuary. That's right after this. But I wanted to see what happens in the song that makes him jump down. When he jumps down... See, there's that little fella that we was talking about from Ferris Bueller's. Apparently, someone's getting a chokehold put on him in, at the, in the audience of the cult show. And so he jumps down and says, by God, you will not do that on my dime. When you come to the cult show, you bring your damn tambourines and you shut the, and you enjoy yourself. Okay, so let's get into this. See what happens. Rise up. Get him up. And what does he go for? What does he go for? A very magical instrument, the tambourine. You can just see with ease how he can play that tambourine just like it's nothing. Now he's really, he's focused in. He never loses the beat. He's always, a, he's a rhythmic maniac. He's, a, he's like Kevin Bacon and Footloose. He's got rhythm in his bones, in his toes, in his tootsie tits, his, in, his, in his tips of his fingers. He never stops with the tambourine, but he's tuned in to something going on down here. But he says, maybe I didn't see what I thought I saw. So... And the mask in. Whoa. Okay. He said, Fanny Babe Ho! Right? I want to see if I can see the sc scuffle here, because it's got to be right down in here somewhere. And this guy's go got his hands up, going, Hot and rain, hot rain. Whoa. Okay, so it's happening. Is this where it's happening at? Yeah, it's like this guy or something, because when you look at this close up, this little fella right here is the one that's getting choked. So let's come over here. Right. Oh, 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 oh. See, and he says, no, this guy's got dreadlocks. Is he part of the uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? Oh, it's this guy. This guy was choking this guy because you know what they argue over? They fight because they want to be one, one person closer. And if, you're, if you've been to enough concerts, you know you don't want to be on the front row. You're mashed up against that, that metal, that, that barricade. So you want one fleshy body between you so you can push, you know, all the weight that's pushed into you is just crushing that person in front of you. This guy wants to get up front. He's saying, don't do that. This guy says, fuck yeah, bro, you get the beer and horns. He says, Ian, uns Ian, he was doing that to me. 
That looks like the that looks like uh, Doug, uh, Doug Panic from uh, freaking uh, uh, King's X right there. Okay, isn't Ian a wonderful fellow? Can I have a hug too, bro? Oh, he told him to shut up. Shut up. I don't care. And he's saying, yes, he's, he's my daddy. He is my daddy. These guys are more animated than any damn Gojira concert or anything that you can go to. I mean, I take that back. Gojira's pretty, pretty metal, but look at how happy this guy is. He's being cradled just like a baby lamb in the arms of Ian Astbury. What did he... This guy's getting too damn friendly now. Are you okay? What was with the squeeze in the neck and stuff? Like he's, he's like, he's literally, he's like, this is my daddy and you leave me alone for my daddies. I don't care. He's going, see, he says, hey, hey. This guy's a weirdo. This guy needs to choke him more. No, no choking at the concerts. Are you okay? Do you want to come sit on the stage with me? Oh, daddy, I would like to have do that, please. Now his friends consoling him saying, did the daddy save you? Let's see what happens. Jump down. Oh, they're gonna just show all this, but it's got the rest of the song, okay. So someone magically clicked that little piece there. Let's get back, he's coming back up. Watch out for the Ian Astbury, watch for the, the mic stand. This person's going to come over and pick that up. Because he says, I'm helping my fans. So I don't have time to bend over to pick that up. I walk around the mic stand. But that's what they pay him for. God, he sounds good, doesn't he? Guys, should we go into a little sea, sea cell sanctuary? It'd be great if he jumped back down there and checked on his buddy again. They say, oh, here comes the daddy to help me again. To double check on me and make sure I'm okay. Well, he handled that pretty, pretty well, I'm thinking. Hot sticky seeds. Let's go over here to a little sanctuary. He's gone. Oh, there we go. What's he saying? Oh, there we go, baby. Let's <laughs> Now he's gonna. He's got to get down there. He's got. He's got to get on the microphone. And tell him, don't choke your brother man, your fellow man. Don't choke your. Don't choke people, unless you're in the UFC. Brother, never, ever put a chokehold on somebody. That is not fucking cool. Thank you, unless you're in the UFC, or in wrestling. But they don't really do it in wrestling, do they? That's what the pig does. We don't want to see that. Stop crying. It's a fucking rock show. If you don't like it, go stand at the back. You're tall. You're bigger than everybody. I know, but you're standing at the front of a rock show. What do you think? Yeah, you're not dealing with a full deck of cards here. But the he better... Oh, boy. This is what we, I love it. I will go see, I'll go see the cult if they come by. Go. Here we go.
Hit that drum, baby. He's saying, what, bro? Why are you crying? But to be fair, it's okay, it's okay to cry at concerts. I cried at Cheap Trick. And even I cried on like the 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 song that that you should not cry on, which is the flame. And I stood there in the audience after I hadn't seen them in like 35 years. I'd never seen them. It was like 35 years. Oh, I was 35 years old, something like that. And I cried like a baby. So it's okay to cry at concerts. Look at that tambourine. It's amazing what he can do with that tambourine. Look at that. Don't cry, baby. Watch this little trick. Tappity, tappity, tappity. I mean, he spin and it rolls behind him and someone, uh, and it stands up. I mean, we've already done a video on Ian Astbury and his amazing tambourine techniques, but you tell me, can you do that? Spin it and throw it behind you and make it stand up like that? Jesus, he's a talent. <laughs> Any hoots, um, yes, indeed. What do you think of that? Um, uh, just an amazing talent. I'm glad he gets down there. He's a positive mojo. He's a positive person. He gets down there. He says, don't put choke holds on people. That's what the pig does. Does That's what a pig does. And then, he's, and then we get a double bonus of more tambourine techniques. His voice is sounding great. The cult is sounding great. I'd love to hear from people that have seen the cult on this tour, what they thought of it, um, how they're feeling about everything. And, uh, and uh, get down there and tell me your all-time favorite uh, uh, songs from the cult. I've never seen them live. I would love to see them live. And they're sounding better, just as good as ever. Am I right or am I wrong? Get in those comments and tell me. Mmm. Well, the hearts of fire take me alive. As the hearts of fire take me alive and be alive.